welcome to my channel. This is a review of the 1987 Matchbox Motor City Deluxe Play Track Set. One of the biggest features of this playset was that it was modular, so you could configure it any way you wanted, which was awesome. I think they gave you a couple of different layout choices on the instructions or the back of the box or something, but uh, I never really bothered with that. I probably set it up like this maybe the very first time I played with it, and then after that, I just created awesome layouts on my own. And it was lots of fun, because you could just create whatever you wanted whenever and amass these huge cities. The Matchbox cars can gain a lot of speed going down these ramps, so that's a lot of fun. I had forgotten how much of an audible sound uh, the cars have when they roll on the plastic part of this track. I don't know if it's the new Matchbox tires with the little uh, rubber tread on the very edge of it, but I'm pretty sure you could probably hear this. It definitely has an audible sound. I'm going to show you all of its quirks and all of its features and I'm going to show you how the cars, you know, move around the playset and how they go on the ramps. You know, it was well played with. I really enjoyed this as a kid. I also have the regular version of this playset. It's smaller. You can also check out that video as well. I'm the original owner of this set. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so it's not in mint condition. Some of the lights here may have shoe marks from my childhood cat, so keep that in mind. And some of the stickers are not in the best of shape, but you know, considering uh, it's in pretty decent shape. This is the configuration that's on the front of the box. And I'd also like to note that um, my set had some water damage about 15 years ago, so I had to remove the stickers that are here. It shows cobblestone with some shrubs and trees. So just keep that in mind. And there's also supposed to be stickers on these pylons that have the same issue. As you can see, it has intersection pieces. It has parking spaces. It has small corners, large corners in the rear here and has these awesome ramp pieces. I really like this dual lane here. I think that's a lot of fun. And then there's all these little plastic pieces. This one says Motor City on it. And so that's kind of realistic. I like the signals, that's a good touch. I had to set this up on my floor because this track setup is too big for my dining room table. Another one of the big features here is this uh, little service center and it has a help pad on the top. It has two gas pumps, which is really fun. And they're plastic, obviously. And they kind of spring out so you could fill up your car, which is a nice feature. I like that it's not static. Here's the ramp. There's a small T intersection with space for parking one vehicle here, which is kind of nice. Coming around the side, there's air pump here. It says 32 PSI for filling up your tires. Um, this top part comes off, and then there's this center bit here. I'll just show the stickers a little bit easier. Um, but there's mufflers on the top, there's oil cans, there's gas cans, there's a shop vac on this side. That's a lot of detail on a sticker. It'd have to be illustrated, so that's really cool. The other side has more exhaust parts, spare tires, red tool chest, jack, more tires, various tools and belts. That's really nice. It just slides into this little slot here. And then here's the underside of the top. So it just fits in those grooves like that. So that's nice. On this back side, of the service center. Car goes on the ramp. Squeeze the handles and then should be able to let go 
of the handles and the car will stay raised up. Back in the day, if the car wasn't very heavy, it would stay all the way up and you could drive a car underneath it at the same time, which is pretty cool. Kind of an ingenious solution. And uh, I'm just happy that these little tabs here still work because I mean, all this stuff is, you know, brittle plastic from 1987. So, you know, it's not gonna last for forever. Here's the two lane section. So you can have one car on this side, obviously. And one car on this side coming in, which is always, I thought, lots of fun. So that's pretty cool. And then, obviously you have the ramp here. So get gas, come up the ramp, come down the ramp. It's pretty cool. Um, these ramps here, just for reference, and the all these corner pieces, they're hard plastic. The inner straight pieces are soft and the connectors like to crack at the ends when you put them together. So they're very brittle after all these years. You have to be very careful. Um, but I always thought this ramp was really fun. And uh, what I used to do was I would take the double lane highway and then place it up on this ramp. So it was up in the sky and then I would use these long pieces here and like maybe connect two of them together to create these awesome long double highways in the sky. I took up literally the entire living room. In the middle of the playset, there is a parking area here and it features embossed grates for theoretical water drainage. And uh, it's just a big plastic piece, has three parking spaces, has a P on each space. There's one entry here off of your carpeted area, which is nice touch. What's ingenious about this parking area is that each space has an embossed rectangle on it. And it's just a very, very small lip and the car's tires go over the lip, but it keeps the car in the space. And uh, that's quite helpful. I just wish that Matchbox would have uh, made more than three parking spaces. I mean, I would have loved to have had 15 of them, you know. There's a lot of real estate over here. Completely park your collection, you know, all along this area. I mean, they could have made this plastic piece, you know, the entire area of this square. It would have been epic. I don't know if you can see these pinholes here, but this is where my childhood cat back in, I don't know, 1995, uh, bit the side of uh, this curve here. He was always chewing and biting on all these little pointy road signs, which was, you know, really, really annoying to me because, you know, I'd try to play and he'd come over and just bite everything. And uh, it's held up well, considering I've had it all these years. There's a couple of pieces here. This is what you have to be careful of. Um, these are kind of softish plastic and the connector pieces separate when you put the ramp piece on and it causes them to crack and break off and then it doesn't stay anymore into the connector piece. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Matchbox Deluxe playset from 1987. And uh, hopefully this brings back uh, good childhood memories. It definitely did for me, just bringing it back out out of storage. Like and subscribe to my channel, Stick Shift Hot Wheels, for more Hot Wheels and Matchbox videos. And be sure to watch my other Matchbox track playset video. Have a great day.